Every coolant hose on an engine has its own purpose, and today we are going to see exactly how each one is installed. This episode takes you inside the full engine assembly process, step by step. First, the technician picks up the upper and lower heater hoses. A light spray of propylene glycol goes on each hose opening to help with lubrication. The dust cap is removed, and the upper hose is pushed into its fitting. A spring clamp and pliers are used here, and the spring has to sit right in the center of the marking line. Next, the lower hose is installed on the engine water pump. A spring clamp is set aside for later. The technician grabs a small clamp and the intercooler water hose. The same thing is done again, a spray of propylene glycol, then the hose is pushed onto the intercooler fitting. After that, the turbo cooling hose is added and locked into place. The hoses are lined up and another clamp is prepared. The upper and lower radiator hoses come next, both are sprayed with propylene glycol. The upper hose is installed on the water pump and then the lower hose is installed on the radiator. The water pump is picked up and a bolt is added. The pump is mounted to the engine, then tightened with an electronic wrench. The limit plug is connected after that. The upper intercooler water hose is picked up and sprayed again. One end goes on to the pump outlet and the other end goes on to the intercooler inlet. The lower intercooler hose is sprayed and connected the same way, with one end on the water water pump inlet, and the other end on the engine outlet. A hook is clipped onto the hose. The expansion tank hose is connected, with one side pushed onto its fitting, and the other side installed on the engine water pump. Finally, the lower heater hose is connected to the pump. The anti-freeze tank hose is picked up and installed on the engine inlet. The hoses are arranged neatly. A spring clamp is added to the other end to prepare for the anti-freeze tank installation later. 